Welcome to my second episode of The Mystical Divine. I am so uh, grateful to be here, so honored that you are here with me. So thank you with all my heart for uh, tuning in in this moment. Yeah, just thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I was uh, feeling today to uh, share a little bit about my experiences um, and dive deeper into a topic, if I could even call it a topic, but something that is, for me, it's everything. I have been seeing lately that uh, that this is everything and uh, and what I felt to talk about is forgiveness um, what is forgiveness and uh, I was just asking myself this question and it seemed to be very uh, difficult to really put it into words but I'm gonna try just to uh, just to maybe get a deeper understanding myself, and maybe you will have some aha experience of it too. Um, yeah, first thing that was coming to me is um, forgiveness is a state of mind, uh, and it's an experience. It comes as an experience. And an experience of, uh, of the grace of God. Um, yeah, forgiveness is like the mystery of life. Um, the key to eternity. And, uh, and forgiveness is so much deeper than than I have been like raised with in my life. The forgiveness is not about forgiving someone for something they did or hurt you or yeah, something like that. Forgiveness is um, yeah, what is coming to mind is complete freedom. With forgiveness um, the, the light of truth flows through. Um, forgiveness is holding no grievances towards anyone, anything, or yourself. Um, it is a state of mind, an experience where, uh, where everything blocking love and light to move through is... Uh, is is vanished, is like uh, given over. Um, and in true forgiveness, um, it will not be pulled back. Like sometimes we think we have forgiven and let something go, but then it keeps on coming up in our mind. So there is still something of about it that we are holding on to. So forgiveness really, really washes away any block. It it frees us from anything we are holding on to. Um, and why would we hold on to anything unless we thought it would give us something? So uh, in forgiveness, it is really looking at the grievances with with God, with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus, and uh, and it goes kind of um, along with prayer, you know, pray to be released completely from what we believe is true, um, and uh, grievances are all about um, misperception, really, because. Nothing can really do us anything 
um, it's impossible to hurt uh, the Holy Son of God. But, um, but we have taught ourselves to believe that, that we can be hurt, that we could be lacking, that we are in need of something more than we already are. Um, and that is simply just uh, an error to be forgiven. Um, that belief that we are not already complete as God created us, because that is what we are. Yeah, so... Yeah, forgiveness is basically... I was thinking about that is the core teachings um, that Jesus was teaching us. Um, everything he taught was about forgiveness. Uh, underneath it all and uh, seemingly so difficult to really really understand uh, because we yeah we so much believe that there is something outside of ourselves um, when we over and over I can see with myself over and over giving things to the Holy Spirit to to show me truly what these misperceptions are pointing to. It's always about blocks and beliefs in my mind, and nothing about anything outside of me. Because you know, in the end, we will realize that that nothing is outside of us. That everything is here within. And we will see that what we perceive as a disturbance outside, it is a blessing, actually, pointing us to what we need to forgive. So uh, that is uh, the whole mystery of life, is to, to see that it's all for forgiveness. Yeah, it's seemingly so uh, so hidden, but for me, I have just been seeing this more and more clearer, more deeper. Uh, what a blessing everything is for me to wash away, to give to the Holy Spirit, to uh, to show me the truth instead of what is false. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and what is coming in my mind too is faith. Because uh, I can see for myself um, when I have some things that are seemingly disturbing me and uh, I, I pray and I, I see it clearly what it is and I see it's in me and it's not out there and uh, and it is the willingness to give it over to the Holy Spirit to free myself from it um, and uh, and if I hold on to a tiny bit of it like ah oh, I I'm still like projecting a bit, then it will just come back again and again. So it is a really a, a deep faith and faith and trust that uh, the Holy Spirit got it. Um, like I was talking about in the last episode, God always answers. There is never, never a moment where we are not safe and held and uh, and answered and helped. So uh, it's only when we don't believe it, we don't have faith in it, then the, the grievance will loop back until it doesn't, until we stop holding on to anything, any tiny bit of it. So, uh, yeah, it's just... It's just such a very deep journey, and 
and takes a lot of willingness and faith, but uh, it is inevitable. We we are all in this together, and and this is the direction, and uh, this is this is the only way: letting go and letting go and forgiving and forgiving and forgiving and and clearing our mind. So uh, that is the joy of life to <laughs> to clear our mind and and be free. Yeah, I was thinking about. Um, I I mentioned a little bit the the Christian mystics in my first episode, and um, and uh, one of my yeah, I don't know if she's one of my favorites, but these days she is, and I was I've been reading about her and just inspired, so inspired, and that is uh, Saint Therese of Lisieux. Um, she was also called uh, the little flower and um, it's just so inspiring how she in such a young age uh, was so devoted so devoted she was born in france um, and um, her parents were uh, devoted christians and um, the Catholic ter- uh, Church, and they had um, nine children in total. Um, they went through some difficulties before Therese was born, uh, where they lost uh, both of their sons and two girls. So uh, when Therese was born, she was the fifth girl um, they had. And um, and when she was four years old, the mother died, um, and she went through such darkness and sickness uh, and just deep, deep loss uh, of the mother. And uh, one by one, her sisters would kind of take the role as a mom for her, but then they would leave to go uh, to uh, to the convent to be become nuns. And uh, she would over and over uh, go through loss of a a, a mother role, uh, one that was like had taken over as a mother for her. Um, and she was a very, uh, very determined little girl. Uh, wanted things her way, and and um, but she was very devoted as well, and wanted to follow her sister's uh, path uh, to become a nun and um, only as uh, she was only 15 years old when she decided she wanted to go in and and she had to and her father was supporting her all the way through and took her to the Pope where she uh, asked for permission to to go to the convent um, because she needed to uh, have permission because she was too young, uh, 15 years old. But she was accepted. And and uh, what was so wonderful about her was that she really, really practiced the teachings of Jesus, uh, of forgiveness, and, um, and would perceive uh, the other sisters, the other nuns, uh, doing things to her um, and she would earlier in her life get very upset uh, if anyone would do something but like most of us we w- we do and uh, but she really started looking at her mind and started just praying and going to Jesus with her frustrations and and uh, was guided to just to just be still, to watch her mind and, and be still and not react to anything. So she uh, really started go, go, going deeper with that and practicing that. And uh, she called her um, the little way. And it was just so, so humbling. She was so humble, so beautiful. And, and she... Uh, she awoke 
uh, and she only lived until she was 24 but she was so clear and beautiful and yeah just her uh, her story and everything about her I just feel just so inspiring and so so dear to my heart and that uh, that you can if you really really dive in and have the willingness to undo pride and judgments and anger, fear, yeah, all of it is fear, then it's, you can do it. There, you know, there is nothing standing in your way to, to go all the way. I have really, really been seeing that. It, it's only, you know, the false beliefs in the mind that, that can seem to only delay, basically, because it is inevitable. The awakening is inevitable. So, yeah, forgiveness, it's just, uh, forgiveness is the way, it's the key to eternity, it's the key to everything. Um, yeah, I'm just so, so grateful to, to see this deeper and deeper and deeper every day. Um, can feel like, you know, getting washed with grace and cleared, cleared out and so there is more and more space for, for love and, and stillness and just peace of mind. So, yeah, it's just wonderful, so, so wonderful. And I was, um, yeah, thinking about um, in the Bible, there is in, um, it's in, in Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, um, the teachings on forgiveness from Jesus. And uh, I remember reading this years ago, but I, I didn't really understand what he even meant. And, uh, but I see deeper and deeper the meaning of it, and, and I'm sure it's going to go much deeper. Um, so, but I... I just felt like reading it. Um, yeah, it's teaching on forgiveness. Um, Matthew five thirty eight, And Jesus says, Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Yeah, Jesus is really teaching here that, that as long as we believe in that we are lacking, then we are not forgiving. Then we want to get get something from others. But when we really know that we are complete and in lack of nothing, then we are in a giving. We freely give and we have an open heart. Invite everyone in. Um, it is a state of mind where there is no fear, basically. When there is no fear, then everything can be given freely because there is a deep, deep knowledge that you can never lack anything, that God has you. Um, it is a very, very deep teaching and I'm just like feeling, falling deeper and deeper into it, just seeing that... Uh, 
as long as I hold on to anything, then I have some work to do in my mind. And when I freely give, freely give without any expectations or need of anything, then I am free. That is true freedom. That is, that is forgiveness. Forgiving everything that I believe that is untrue. And have the wisdom and the experience that all there is, is God. There is only the love of God. Yeah. So Jesus' teachings, how I see it, is it's all about forgiveness. It's all about holding on to nothing. No, Jesus, he didn't even have a pocket. He just had what he was wearing and uh, held on to nothing. And he knew that everything was given. Everything was given from God, that no one was lacking. And um, yeah, I was also, I was reading, a, reading some parables and seeing the, that all the ones that Jesus healed, he would always ask them before he laid hands on them, he would ask them if they believed that he could heal them. So it wasn't the, the person Jesus healing, it was the belief was so strong that he could do it, that they were healed by the Holy Spirit. So it's spirit that does all of it, but we, everything is a symbol, um, a beautiful symbol of showing us that that we are already whole and perfect. It's pointing us to that. And uh, yeah, it was so uh, like an aha for me. He always asked first. So it was their belief in him that healed them. Yeah, our mind is so powerful. And Jesus said that we can do more than he did, that we have the same strength, the same power of God. Um, yeah, and through forgiveness, we will see that, we will experience that. So yeah, for me, forgiveness, I just see that forgiveness is everything. It is the mystery of life. It's all about forgiveness. It is the key to happiness. It is the key to eternity. It is the key to wash away everything that is false so we can see the truth of who we are. So we can feel and experience the strength that we have within. So we can experience the kingdom of heaven that Jesus, he was talking about, it's not of this world, the kingdom, he said, my kingdom is not of this world, he was pointing us to God, to that we are a creation of God, one with him, yeah, wow, it's amazing, it's just amazing to see this, so clearly. Mm. Thank you for uh, for being here with me and diving into this with me. I uh, I'm just so thankful, so honored, and just uh, feeling very very blessed, very blessed to be here. Yeah. So I was. Yeah, here at the end, I would love to uh, to read a beautiful poem from uh, from the book I'm working on. Um, 
It's called Forever With Him. I choose a day in His glory. All else will fade away. No trace of any worry. In His arms I will stay. Soft and so gentle, a beam of light lifts me up. The light brings me directly high above a mountain top. In his glorious essence, everything turns to light. I hear the deep silence and my form becomes bright. I am the light of the world, one with his magnificence. To my home I have returned forever in his presence. Yeah, thank you for everything. I'm so, so honored. I'm so honored. So uh, I wish you the most beautiful day and bask in, in the light, bask in the love of God. And uh, yeah, and remember that forgiveness is the key to happiness. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you.